Hey, this is Clayton with Everything Ponds, and today I want to talk about heaters and the difference between heaters and de-icers. Uh, do you need a heater in your pond? It's a common question we get in the fall and winter. Do fish need the water heated? Do you need a de-icer? Uh, what are all these pieces of equipment and when do you need them? So there's a couple type of devices that people refer to as heaters. Uh, the first is a de-icer, and all that is is a unit that keeps a hole in the ice for gas exchange for fish. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. The second is an actual inline water heater. So you have a pipe and you actually put that heater in line. The water comes through the pipe, through the heater, and gets heated up in the process. And the point of that heater is to heat the entire pond, not just keep one area ice free. Just to start things off, I'm going to say in most cases we don't actually recommend heating your pond and there's a couple reasons for that. So the first reason we think heating a pond is impractical is the cost of it. And it's not the cost of the heater itself, it's the cost of the electricity. Most ponds are not insulated, they don't have insulated covers and the ground is cold. So what happens is any heat you put in, the ground just pulls that heat right out. So to compensate, usually you need a really big heater. Um, a general rule of thumb for an electric inline water heater is to bring a pond up, a thousand gallon pond up 10 degrees Fahrenheit, you need a thousand watts of heat. And if you do an electricity conversion, that's actually pretty expensive. So what happens if you have a 5,000 gallon pond and you want to bring it up 20 degrees? You're going to need uh, 10,000 watts. And so actually that's a ton of power, you're going to be paying hundreds of dollars per month or thousands of dollars a month in certain cases and uh, it's just uh, maybe not necessary. So a way you can get around that problem obviously is to insulate the pond. So some people do that or you can put insulated covers on like, like a heated pool or a heated spa or hot tub. Um, in the winter if you live in a cold place and you don't put that cover back on usually you will start losing your heat and the heater can't keep up. Um, so if you do insulate your pond, that would definitely help. So the second reason we usually don't recommend heating a pond is in most cases it's just not necessary. Why spend the money to heat the pond when in most cases fish don't need it? Fish are cold-blooded. They can actually live underneath the ice and survive. They will slow down, their metabolism's shut right down. They don't eat in most cases and they barely will move. Uh, in most cases they can live like that under the ice um, the only thing they do need is just gas exchange between the water and the air. And that's where a de-icer comes in. So that is one thing that we do recommend if you have fish. It's just a small little uh, miniature heater that you keep on the surface of your pond, keeps one area ice free, and then gas exchange can happen between the water and air just so that no weird carbon dioxide or anything gets built up in the, in the water. So all that being said, sometimes koi enthusiasts who have spent a ton of money on their koi, like let's say you spend thousand dollars on a koi, you know, they will bring their koi inside a garage for the winter, put it in a stocking tank. Maybe they don't want that fish being below the ice where they can't keep an eye on it. Uh, so that is something that some people do. People that have less expensive fish often don't worry about it and just keep their fish right in the pond. So every once in a while we get a call from somebody who has put, maybe they live in the south, maybe in Florida, more tropical areas and they'll put tropical fish in their pond in the summer and um, you know those types of fish do need a certain temperature to live so with those situations sometimes people think they want to heat their pond but I think maybe an easier solution for that is just when the temperatures are dropping down maybe bring those fish inside for the winter as well and put them in some kind of an aquarium or stocking tank. All right, thanks for checking out our video. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call, send us an email, or check out our website, Everything Ponds. And I hope we answered all your questions. Thanks, and uh, have a great day.